girl, you got me so Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the farm. We got something exciting today. What the heck do we got here? It is... Any guesses? We have the Weed Zapper. So we are out here doing one final pass on the organic soybeans to take care of some weeds. So looks quite a bit different than when I was out here with the cultivator. All those weeds out there. So got a bunch of rain here a couple weeks ago. Definitely helped the crops out, but um, stunted the soybeans a little bit and let a chance for those weeds to grow in so what we mainly have out here is velvet leaf some grass and yeah so since we can't use herbicides to finish off these weeds got the next best thing as the name would portray yeah this thing zaps the living daylights out of weeds so 30 foot copper rod it's in the up position to turn here right now but electricity runs out to that copper rod touches the plant and literally fries it off so if you can see this how this head on this weed is hanging i ran the machine here on this andro last night you can almost well, it's an end row, so you can kind of see the difference, but all these weeds that are hanging down, the cell walls get exploded on the inside. So, 150,000 watt generator. The electrical lines run underneath the bottom of the tractor. And out to that copper rod, so. <clears throat> thing literally grounds itself through the plant and fries them from the inside out. So you might be saying, oh, how in the heck don't you not kill all the soybeans while you're running? So there's a hydraulically adjustable third link right here on the front three point. So that's another thing. Had to add a front three point to this tractor to make all this work but use the hydraulics in the tractor to adjust the tilt. So we run the, that front copper rod right above the soybean canopy. So we're only getting the weeds that are right above the soybeans, but that's gonna really clean up this field and help us during harvest. So this is the actual generator power unit. We're getting mechanical power from the tractor through the power takeoff or the PTO and that is spinning a shaft which spins the belt here on the generator Let's see if we can get some specs on here 155 kilowatts so 155,000 watts 480 volts at 323 amps so she's putting out some juice but uh, yeah, I've got the GoPro strapped on, got the drone in the sky here in a few minutes, and uh, gonna get to work zapping some of these weeds. keep adjusting like I said that front three point up and down to make sure I'm just getting above the 
canopy of the beans and not touching the beans at all. So if I do touch the beans with it, yeah, I'm gonna gonna fry the beans off as well. So got our display here, tells us what our generator temperature is, how many amps we're pulling as we're hitting different weeds, running through a pretty open patch right now, so nothing really much there. You'll be able to see here as I touch these weeds and you well it's kind of moving too fast almost but you can see the tips of those those weeds bending over once I zap them so that tells me that hey I made good contact the cell walls on the inside of that plant are fried mm, fried weed there was smell a vision in here you can literally smell the crispy weeds it smells like you know put that toast on for the second time forget about it yeah that kind of smoky field we actually did when we first got the machine. I'm actually renting this from a neighbor. would like to own one one day but <clears throat> a little too expensive for my blood for right now. So really thankful my neighbor allows us to rent it from him and uh, helps us out a bunch here. So <laughs> but we're out here at one of our probably weediest fields to run over one more time and give everything one last zap but check out what this thing did here. <clears throat> so we ran this probably three or four days ago. Look at that. Giant ragweed, just crispy. So one thing it really doesn't do a good job on, especially first pass, is grass, any type of grass. So got some foxtail out here. Part of the problem is how close to the top of the beans that is. It's really hard to get that boom down in there to, to grab that and zap it, but yeah, it does an awesome job killing all this big stuff. So one more pass through here and we'll be in good shape. Something always happens during the last field breaking parts. So this gauge wheel that also acts as the grounding rod also has a speed sensor in it. Uh, collar broke that holds it onto this spindle shaft here and it looks like it's kind of been working its way off for a while so it happened last year when I ran it and looks like we kind of need to get a new one of these shafts so I don't know hopefully we can get it put back together here and today's Saturday night of course so not going to be getting any parts here today that's for sure hey guys next day got the gauge wheel put back on the zapper 
<clears throat> but have a little more work to do on the electrical side of things. There's a three amp little fuse inside the fuse panel that was blowing and didn't realize that some of the wires were still damaged from that. So this sensor wire that comes off the speed sensor there for the gauge wheel runs up through this tube here. When that thing fell off, it ripped those wires out, <clears throat> which I replaced the ones that you can visually see, but there were some from uh, last time that happened that they were still still damaged. So I'm gonna get those butt connected up and put back together. But what was telling me that those were damaged was inside this control panel. There's a little three amp fuse that kept blowing. So look at that transformer. I wanna touch that sucker. Yeah. is a wrap for the weed zapper 2021 weed zapping so hope you guys enjoyed that one should be getting some more drone stuff going and maybe some hay videos or something here this year but if you could hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date of what we got going here on the farm and uh hope to see you guys next time see ya peace yeah.